Do you have a happy ending story from a request you've made? A president's love of French fries sets the stage for another energizing morning prayer time today. For many Americans, Thomas Jefferson's greatest impact on their daily lives was introducing the country to French fries. Sure, he was the third U.S. president, and yes, he wrote the first draft of the Declaration of Independence, and yes, he brokered the Louisiana Purchase, acquiring land for 13 states. But what Americans really care about is their French fries. In fact, the average person eats 30 pounds of them a year. Thomas Jefferson first encountered these tempting treats while serving as American minister to France in the late 1700s. But what got the ball rolling in America was his request that potatoes served in the French manner accompany a fancy White House meal. God has a special life-giving message for us today about our requests. So let's dive into the Word of God, led by the Spirit of God, using the Lord's Prayer as our guide to energize us with praise and purpose, peace and purity. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. May we shout for joy over your victory. May we lift up banners to your name, God, and may you, Lord, grant our requests. Let's take a moment to think about a request that God has granted, and let's praise him for that. May your kingdom come and your will be done. Lord, it is your will that we be alert to the needs of those around us and come to you with requests and prayers for your people. Let's take a moment to think about a request others may have and let's pray for them. Give us this day our daily bread. Lord, we know when we lay our requests before you, you hear us and we can wait expectantly. Let's spend a moment laying our request before the Lord, knowing he hears us as we wait expectantly. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, we confess that often we don't present our request to you. We don't pray. We don't thank you. We live with constant anxiety. Let's take a moment to confess our sin to God and request his forgiveness and joy. Thank you for this time, Lord, to energize us with praise as we think about a request you have granted and praise you for it, and with purpose as we think about a request others may have and pray for them, and with peace as we lay our request before you, Lord, knowing you hear us as we wait expectantly, and with purity as we confess our sin to you and request your forgiveness and joy. For yours, Lord, is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. If you want a transcript of today's prayer or email updates of future prayers, just click the link below or go to lordsprayerday.com.